Alright guys, so as promised in the last video, we are going to be creating a more advanced UI for our remotes. Um, in the last two videos, we took control of our infrared devices and our Android devices, uh, particularly the Fire Stick. In the IR video, I showed you guys how to make toggle buttons, which works effectively for a power switch, not so much for everything else. In the Fire Stick video, I showed you guys how to do scripts so that you could just click a button and it's one command every time you click it. We're gonna go ahead and run with the scripts. If you already have the toggle buttons for the infrared control, that's great. I'm gonna show you some tricks to just turn that into a script without messing with anything. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so go ahead and access your switch.yaml file. And as you can see, I did a little extra here. What we're gonna do is we already created a toggle switch for power and that was actually the same command for on and off. For um, something like turning the volume up and down, you can use one single toggle and you're not gonna wanna put this on the interface obviously. This is just for the specific goal of turning these on and off commands into scripts. So for volume, command on, go ahead and capture the code for up and put it on there. For off, we're gonna go ahead and capture down. And uh, same for your directional buttons. Uh, I put left instead of just putting like sideways or anything. And I put up instead of up and down for the uh, basic channels. Go ahead and for the next step, keep in mind the friendly names you gave everything because this is how we are gonna recall these switches. And let's go ahead and move on to the next part. All right guys, let's go ahead and go to our scripts.yaml. You should at least have this um, from the last video. I added a lot more and there's some advanced commands here. Whereas uh, instead of just typing the button that's on the remote, you can send actual ADB commands. I've got Plex and uh, Netflix here. You just wanna drop those in quotations and command instead of the name of the button. I'll throw them in the description so you guys can go ahead and snag those for your own use. And uh, I'll go ahead and drop a couple extra apps in there. Um, anyway, let's get to the switches. My first script is gonna be for power. And you're gonna go ahead and I called it TVIO. Two spaces sequence, two spaces dash space service, space. And here is where you're gonna do the on and off commands. Switch dot turn on, that's gonna be the command that you put for on. And then turn off is gonna be the command that you put on off. For power, it's uh, the same both ways. So I just simply did the turn on command and only the turn on command. Next line, four spaces, data, colon. Next line, six spaces, entity underscore ID, colon, space, switch, dot, and here's your friendly name. And do not use spaces here. If you put them in your friendly name, use an underscore. And as a secondary example, like I said, uh, for the on and off, I got up and down here, TVU and TVD, and I went ahead, we're calling the TV up switch. On is up, off is down. That's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and build out that UI now. All right, so go ahead and create a new panel. Go ahead and create a vertical stack. And go ahead and create a horizontal stack. Now what this did is the vertical stack creates rows and the horizontal stack is gonna create columns. So what will we put in the first row? Probably power. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's call it power. Go ahead down to, it's not a toggle, we're gonna to call a service. Go to your scripts and TV IO for power. Now that looks ugly. You don't, you don't want it to be a word. So what we're gonna do is scoot on over to materialdesignicons.com and this is directly linked to Home Assistant already. All you have to do is simply find the name and um, the community ones are gonna be like less easy to implement but if you find ones that aren't community, you can just drop them like this. MDI, material design icons, colon, power. Look at that, nice power button popped right up. Turn show name off, and then you can adjust the height of your icon here. 50 is a good, a good size for that. Now, 
to add another button to the row, just hit your plus button here. And what usually goes next to power, I would say your back button. Your back or your home button, it's, uh, it's preference. I'm gonna go with back. TVB for TV back. And we are gonna do MDI arrow left. And let's match that up. Let's get rid of the name. And we have finished this row, so let's create another row. Go ahead and add another horizontal stack. This is going to be the up button because generally that would be on the next row. So let's go ahead and up, call service, script, TVU, and MDI arrow up there's several different arrows you can choose from um i'm just going basic here for the sake of the video uh we'll go ahead and make this a little bigger than the top row 75 maybe 80 and then we don't need anything else in this row create another row horizontal stack um now i'm not gonna go ahead and go through all the scripting again but Look, this would be left and right. So you get the idea at this point. You guys should have a pretty nice remote going. You know, like I said, I've got three different remotes here and I've got the, uh, for the fire stick, I've got the Netflix and Plex buttons built right in. As you can see, it has icons. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment on content you guys would like to see. I've got a couple more ideas to drop, but I want to get what the people want. So. Let me know what you guys want. Subscribe, like, and keep watching. Thank you.